Welcome, folks, to tonight's game. This one promises to be a good one between the Colorado Buffaloes and the UCLA Bruins. Dick, you look at this one, and it doesn't look like it's going to be a great game, but sometimes we get surprised. I'll tell you what, when you're the underdog, you got to come out and play with such fire. you got to simply tell them upsets happen when a three-star player plays like a five-star player, plays with intensity, emotion, and passion. And we're off with a tip here in the first half. The Bruins should be in for an easy one tonight, Dick. What do you see as the keys to their success? The keys are very simple, my friend. First of all, reward your big man. Give him the ball down low. Get him into the game. Let him be part of the offense. Next, you got to pound the board. Boards lead to wins, baby. And lastly, keep it simple defensively and play as a unit. Well, partner, I say let's get to the action on the court and we'll see how this one plays out. Both teams are looking to get something going here. On the dribble, gives it up. Get that sucker out of the game, man. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball man. That's essential when you play out there and you're fronting. Gave it up. That spin move not successful, Dick. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. He'll regroup the offense. Now the high screen. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Counts getting high. He shoots from downtown. Off the rim and no good. That's one of the best parts of college basketball, the student section. They're fired up and they're ready to try to help their team. Aren't they great, Brad? I love it. Inside. Here's a double team. Gives it up. Fed the low block. Turns it over. Pushes it up. Long lead pass. He keeps the dribble as they reset. Step out on that screener. The ball goes out of play. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. Cue the rewind button, boys. Moving it around the perimeter. Dumping inside. Three. Way off target. Strips the ball. Shows patience, waiting for the reset. Inside. And up. They are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. Trying to pack it inside. With anticipation defensively. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. And the ball goes out of bounds. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. This crowd is unbelievable tonight. Oh, they're emotional. They're packed. They're jammed. You can't find an empty seat. There's a high percentage shot. Wow, what hops, baby. What hops. Oh, 
Very soft defensively. No pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. The center takes the feed from the top of the key. Tickles a twine. That's a 10 nothing run. See who will benefit the most out of that timeout, Dick. The frustration right there. There's a high screen. The double team can't contain him. That's not how you work a double team, Brad. You and I got to go show them the double team. They work the perimeter. Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. On the outside, he shoots from the top of the circle. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. This is a one-man show right now, Brad. This is supposed to be a team game. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. And our trifecta for the night. Aaron Andrews on the sideline. And with Dick Vitale, I'm Brad Nestler. Nice to have you along with us. Launches the three. He gets another shot off and in. Hey, this show's about to start, Brad. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position, has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. Can't get the shot to drop. He shoots from the top of the key. Got it. He's just not giving the effort on defense. He's not putting up a good fight at all. Got to take some pride on the defense. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Up and inside. He hammers it home. And moves not going to work and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Pass down low. There's a drop step and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step, very slow. Look at the student section, Dick, cheering on their classmates, their peers. If you ask any coach or player, I'm sure they'll say that the student section is the best. They're rocking right now. My goodness. Dick, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Goes up for two. And in and out. That was really a nonchalant pass. 
Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> and the ball goes out of play. Check that out. He's pulling up the crowd. He wants him to turn it up a notch. Hey, hey, he wants everyone to get up. The center with the ball for the bucket. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. Almost lost the basketball. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. The small forward takes the pass. Well, right, right there, they missed him inside. You gotta get the ball when the guy is open. That's a special art, feet in the post. The center gets the ball. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. For two, he nails the bucket. Let's see the replay. <laughs> Gave it up. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Jumps into the defender. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Trying to draw some contact. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Trying to draw the foul. Dick, they're ripping up the nets tonight. Hey, they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. On the dribble, gives it up. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. A uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Both teams looking to get things going here. He went for the steal in the post, and he missed it, Dick. Oh, I'll tell you one thing. What a poor job defensively. He gambled. Look at that spacing. Outside jumper. Sinks the shot. And a momentary look from three-point land. The point guard gets the pass from downtown. He hits the tough shot. I'll tell you, he's not going to deal with ease, Brad. Gave it up. There's the trap. Shoots. The Bruins have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. That ball movement, get that good spacing. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? The crowd is enjoying this close one. The fans are just waiting for the favorites to pull away. But will it happen here tonight? Thanks, Aaron. He bombs from outside. They let him get into a rhythm. Pressure that basketball. Stolen away. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. 
You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. Nice shot. They scored seven in a row. Looking for a good shot. On the outside. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Jumped in front to take it away. Change in possession. The defense knocked it loose, then went and got it. There he is, strips the ball loose for the bucket. There was no doubt about that one. Let's get another look, Brad. The student body is rocking tonight. They look like they're having a blast. Cross court. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. All right, let's check in. Third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it from where you are, but I can hear it clearly. The coach is stressing to his team, go inside, go inside. They've been effective in this area all night long. What an asset to have. All right, thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you one thing. She's essentially right. Down in the post is where you create a lot of offensive action. He tries a jump hook. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. Gets up to make the block. The fake. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. He can't miss. Hey, this young man's feeling it, Brad. Looking to move it around the perimeter. For two. The Bruins have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. Glad he's on fire. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. The Bruins are a stop away from hearing this crowd go senseless. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. The Bruins have a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. They move it into the front court. Nice steal there, but the offense gets the ball back. In the top of the circle. And he hits the three. out of bounds. That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnover. I'll tell you one thing. That leads you to the exit sign. No question. You get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> the Ziggy. I love that. Intercepted. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. The Bruins have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. The dribble gives it up gave it up he intercepts it 
jumps in. He makes the shot. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Right in the circle. Off the rim and no good. Gas away. And that bucket's going to count plus one. A big time and one, baby. Okay, Dick, some people were predicting this. The players are starting to taunt one another. Marshall steps to the line for the first time. Hits that one. They work the perimeter. He does the sweet fake shot. He unloads a three. Dick, he's in a serious rhythm. Hey, that's because he's getting the ball in rhythm, Brad. Very important. For the bucket, perfectly executed. On the dribble, gives it up. He shoots from the top of the circle. He rips the nets for another score. He's absolutely unconscious. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Now they work it around the perimeter. Gave it up. Looking for contact. Perfectly executed. Let's see if they go two for one here, Brad. There's the pick. The pavilion has become deafening. They're going well here in Los Angeles, California. Up and inside. He pump fakes. Gets it back out. He takes the shot. Way off target. Shot clock is dead. Looking for the foul. Great play to take that to the basket. On the outside. Takes the pass in the paint. Puts it up, looking for contact. At halftime, the Buffaloes are down by four. It's been a tight battle so far, Dick. Do you have a highlight of the half in your book? I picked this basket in the paint for the highlight of the first half. We saw lots of inside scoring in the first half, and I think it's going to be the key for both teams in the second half. Second half about to get underway. Let's go down to the action. UCLA shot lights out from the floor in the first half. I'll tell you, they executed exactly the way the coaching staff envisioned in their game plan. Huge credit goes to the players for making it happen on the floor. Expected that battle between David and Goliath, and that's what we saw in the first half. What do you expect in the second half? You're simply saying, warm up the bus, baby. Let's get ready for the next game. Now, really, you got to try to get the kids to understand possession by possession. What I would do, Brad, is play the game in four minute segments. Let's try to win each four minutes. Dick, how's he working in defensive? right now you got three concepts you can play halfway you can play behind or in front they've decided to play in front which means you got to get help side they can't stop this guy did want to give him a try Brad? if only my knees weren't aching for two and in and out But inside goes up for two they just can't seem to miss they found a serious stroke with their shooting Brad
The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. And all the way on the baseline, now the kick out. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. A defensive player beats him to the spot. Puts it on the floor and up and under. That's a good post play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing ball, ball fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. Moving it around the perimeter. He fires from long range. Colorado are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they to keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. Tries for two. And off the mark. He launches the bomb. Dickey simply on fire. Hey, call the fire department, baby. This one's burning up. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. With the fake, picks off the pass. He should have an easy bucket here. For two. Up, easy one. Picked off. He's got a nice shot fake. Pass down low. There's a drop step, and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step, very really slow. Tempo to game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Shots there if he wants it. Unloads a three, makes it. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. <laughs> on the dribble, gives it up. Went away from the post and goes the other way. Goes up for two. Colorado is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. out of play. Dick, how's that backcourt comparison shaping up, do you think? Hey, Brad, that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they, as coaches, get the most out of their guards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively, can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. Harm and foul. Points off turnovers, Dick. A stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy basket. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. He's got a high post flasher. He throws it up from downtown. Off the rim and no good.
gave it up. Here's a spin down to the low block. I think he's got a variety of moves. He used the sky hook, the jump hook, and now the spin move to the goal. The Bruins have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brady's on fire. And he'll kick it back outside. Picked out of the air. Running right at the screen again. What did I say? Defensively low block. Oh, nice job fronting him for the steal. Uh, terrific job creating the opportunity. I think really converts an offensive transition. Fake on the dribble. Gives it up. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. They've got a player spotting up on the three. Here's a flash from the post up high. Steals a pass. Defensively down on the low block, and there's a steal. A terrific job anticipating, reading the offense, and making that steal. The student body appears to be pumped up, and they are ready to explode. They want to win just as bad as anyone else in the building. the three ball great job of running the defender into the screen for the nice J great defensive play anticipated well when you're an anticipator you got a chance to do well a lot of guys they're reactors if you're a reactor you're one step behind the action What a great strip. Marshall is emotionally pumped up. Hey, can you blame him, Brad? He's getting it done. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Easy one. Let's see the replay on that one. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Look at that try. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> on. There's a double team waiting there. They're off into transition. Tries for two. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? Leans in. Basket falls despite the contact. We'll show you another angle from the booth. right now got to focus defensively the student body has got it going on they look to be filled with rage and 
eager for a win. Oh, yes, the student body, always full of comedy and excitement. Puts it on the floor and up and under. And in and out. On the outside. Takes away the pass. Gave it up. And as you would say right here, Mr. Vitale, Flop City! I tell you one thing, <laughs> absolutely a flop. No doubt, Mr. Nestler. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you gotta get help because you gotta see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you front it. He launches a three. He is just lighting it up, Dick. He's beating his man to the spot and hit the shots, Brad. On the outside. And he'll kick it back outside. On the dribble, gives it up. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. For the bucket and off the mark. Double team now, bad angle. Nice move with a face up. I tell you one thing, Brad, I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Gave it up. Picks off the lazy pass. This should be an easy two. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us. Aaron? Dick and Brad at the half. Both coaches told me throw the rankings away. It doesn't matter at this point. Both teams said they expect anything to happen here in the second half. Nobody could have expected this. All right, thanks, Aaron. Look at that great defense right there. Not allow them to make the turn. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Knocks it down. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork deep into the spot. Tries for two. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. There's the trap. And one too many dribbles and a steal. On the dribble, gives it up. This team right now just lighting it up from everywhere. Hey, they're finding each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot. Gave it up. There's a double team waiting there. Stolen ball. And again, they look to run. For the bucket. With the layup. That's an 8 nothing run. Dickey's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Takes it off him. Marshall handles the feed. A little bit of a collision there, but no foul called there. I tell you, good call by the official. Not blowing a whistle. I think it's an excellent call. 
Looking for a screen on top and got it. See a little different look this time, Dip. You never know what's coming, Brad. Defense! 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 Picked off. It looks as though the students are all wound up and ready to agitate the opposition. Isn't it great, Brad? UCLA are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. Out of the air. On the dribble, gives it up. If they can get a score, this place is going to go wild. Up and inside. There's the screen up on top. He takes the shot off the baseline. The Bruins have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position, has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. He takes it away. It's a fast break possibility. Slam jam, bam, up and away. The elevator man, they love it. Marshall receives the ball. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. For the deuce. I tell you, waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. Great defense. Pushes it up. Long pass down court. Look at that spacing. He lets it fly, makes the shot. They work it around the arc. The center receives the pass. Too physical. Well, Mr. Vital, let's take a look at our backcourt production. Hey, I'll tell you one thing, Brad. You look at the stats, you want to find out if your backcourt is playing well. Well, you want to ensure that your guards keep the number of turnovers down. That's a must. Reduce turnovers. So many games are won and lost by teams turning the ball over. Turnovers, missed opportunities happen, baby, when you turn the rock over. He hits the second. Pushes it. Jumped in front to take it away. Now they work it around the perimeter. And the ball goes out of bounds. Well, Dick, what's the front court production looking like to you? Well, you know, Brad, your bigs really can influence how your teams play. Rebound, blocking shots, altering shots are all very important skills which your big players should possess. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Shoots it, off the rim and no good. Goes up for two. Nice move with a face up. I'll tell you one thing, Brad, I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Stolen, and on the break, Tries for two. Up, easy one. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. He's open if he wants the shot. He dials long distance. He nails the shot.
to start things up again. Up and inside. Number two wants some encouragement from the fans. I think he feels the importance of this defensive possession, Brad. What's the perimeter? Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. Moving it around the perimeter. Wide open for the shot. Steals a pass. Looking for a good shot. Let's watch the defense down in the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. But good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. foul is it just trying to hang on here nobody likes this part of the game and the losing team is fouling in order to stop the clock and they continue to foul to stop the clock foul and that stops the clock again And yet another foul. Oh, and look at the crowd, and look at the reaction. I tell the home fans are going crazy. There's jubilation. And the clock stopped with a foul. Full house, and a packed crowd, and they are into it tonight. I tell you, what emotion, what an edge for the home team. I can't emphasize it enough, Brad. It's important to get to the charity strike. talk things over. We're ready to get back to the action. is asking the fans to get behind his team right now. He wants the crowd up and out of their seats for the next possession. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. Shot clock is dead. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Gave it up. The small forward takes the pass. Working it around the perimeter. And now they'll bring it up. On the dribble, gives it up. The power forward takes the feed. Dick, we expected them to win. They did win. They've been impressive all year long, and they just keep rolling along. I'll tell you one thing. They're so well coached. They're really prepared, and they understand each other. They know who their strong players are, should be shooting the ball, and those that are liable. UCLA was caught in quite a battle tonight before pulling ahead for good. Well, they may have come in a little overconfident, but they held their composure at the end. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Good night, everybody.